some men. Um, actually, you should say hi to everybody. Well, hi, everybody. Welcome to from the response that she's getting and the show up and the turn up today, it's like, wow, everyone's early, everyone's enthusiastic, everyone's yeah. here to celebrate a friend more than a business associate. I think all of you guys feel the same way as I do. I feel like, yeah. and I've said this to her a lot of times, Yvonne has always been a friend first and a business associate next. And um, in our business, and I know Jordan and a lot of you guys are not in the gem business, but in our business, it's very rare to have people who you can be friendly with, be yourself with, and also be able to do business with. And I think she's achieved that for a lot of us. A lot of us have known her from the very beginning of her career, right. which was kind of also the beginning of my career. We have a lot of funny and exciting stories that we've shared that I don't think anyone would believe at all. Uh, from, from, the, from, uh, so from one, of the, one of the most interesting and most like, it actually shows you who Yvonne is as a person. Uh, I started off in my two bedroom apartment in Jersey City and that's where we started working uh, and I had a guest bedroom that became my office space. Uh, and we wanted to live in Jersey City, right, 20 minutes away. We met for the first time, I think, at the JA show. JA show, like, 85? No. Yeah, it was 2011. 2011. No. Yeah, that was, like, yeah. three years into Back when he was a small child, basically. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And we were, like, trying to figure out this business together, and I had no clue, and she was kind of a little bit ahead of me, but she was figuring it out herself. And come into my, she would come to my guest bedroom and she was the only customer ever allowed in my house because <laughs> <laughs> there was no one else, no one even knew of my existence and she'd come by and she'd like sit on the floor in my guest bedroom sorting all the stones for me and picking out her best favorite stones and like putting it on, on um, Etsy and everywhere else that she sold for gemstones. That's how we started and that's how much of a bond we had. You, know, you hear about the Googles and the Facebooks and how they started in their garage. Yvonne and I started in my guest bedroom. So, <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully when, when, when you guys need to know who we are and you guys can tell everyone, oh, we knew these guys, um, you know where we started as well. Uh, I think Yvonne's gonna go places because of uh, where she started and who she is as a person. And that's what's more important than anything else in this business and in life in general. Uh, she comes from a background of ethics, but uh, she may not be practicing it as her career anymore. But we all know she takes that so seriously. And it, it is actually a, it's an honor to be a part of that circle. And we all feel that way. So cheers to her. Cheers. cheers. So many actually this is the room full of just about everybody but um most importantly two people that have moved on to i don't know how you get to greener pastures since it's a little green is the thing but um brandy if you can have a word to brandy she's been uh, a designer designer since the beginning she's been the one that taught me pretty much how to make jewelry and where to go and got me all the connections so without yeah. brandy no way um, I think Debbie's that. behind the camera, so she's yeah. <laughs> Hi. Um, <laughs> making beaded necklaces in and uh, yeah at my kitchen uh, breakfast bar um, when I was still buying some beads, also from Jackie and other people. Um, who else? Well, um, Pierre, of course, without who not, um, who also figured out how to help me set things. Um, yes. Very importantly here, so, yeah, so it's truly without Pierre, it would just be a, a plain piece of uh, gold. Ethan, who's joined us a little bit later, is over there and hiding his shadow. Yeah. 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 Um, also, well, 
here's Tava Casting. Um, yeah. Sergio. Hey! hey. <laughs> I, saw, I saw him smiling in the back because he was like, yeah, I was there from the beginning when I would come in with like this little beard piece of box. And I'm like, what do I do with that? <laughs> and he's like, well, you put it. And then, you know, and then after that, you do this, that, and the other thing. So um, we have, well, my polisher, um, also jeweler, Mongus. Um, that's Claire. Woo! 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 Some of my friends hiding in the back. No. Um, what else? Um, Josh is right in the back. Yes, Josh. Where are you hiding? <laughs> Josh is also hiding yeah. um, from Gemological Institute of America. He's also <laughs> Woo! Woo! And uh, Johanna and Diana who also started with me. Hey! Take a picture of Joe taking a picture of Ooh. <laughs> So just to hope I didn't forget anybody, but thank you all so much for being here. This is like this is really a dream come true for me. So I I think that I'll definitely never go back to teaching. This is this is this is where I want to go. So thanks so much. Uh, don't forget to take a, a swag bag on your way out. We have oh a God, jewelry so cleaner so that we designed for the evening and um, a couple of Jesus. gifts. Um, as well as, so we do have for display some of our very fancy stuff, some of which of course bought from Jenny. And I, I should point out that this is one of my first big Mahenga creations. Back in the day when, this is a kind of insider joke, so not everyone's going to get that, but when you uh, took a four carat Mahenga spinel and cut it down just a little bit to make it a little bit more pretty into a 3.85 carat spinel, which basically devalues the whole thing by about 50% just because it looks prettier that way. <laughs> The good old days. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, well, this is this is it. Please enjoy. Um, eat, drink, marry, etc. That's the 